Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Guilty Conscience collectible locations where we find two documents, two relics, two GPS caches, the last five statues for the Illumination Challenge, and two egg nests to go towards the Egg Poacher Challenge for Tomb Raider. All right, right off the bat, we're, uh, we actually skipped one level. Uh, it was a quick, short level. You guys probably went through it. A road less traveled. There are no collectibles for that. But as soon as we start here with the camp, we uh, cut it with a nice little cutscene with Roth. And then what we're going to want to do is chat it up with this feller sitting down here because it's another chatterbox option for us. So we're going to want to keep talking and talking and talking until there's no more comment balloons above him. And as you can see, we completed that. There's no real indication or anything that it's there. It's just it is what it is. Now, this will be the uh, first time I bring this up in this video. But as always, we have quick fast forward links down below in the video description. So if you want to just move along to the next collectible, sometimes there uh, might be a, a quicker way rather than watching. None of these go more than like a minute or, or so. So uh, here in a second, we're going to get back to business and get to the next collectible, which happens to be the first relic of the area. But we're going to go ahead and take out these baddies first. And rather than cut it out like always, we leave it in there for your viewing pleasure. So as you can see, I tried to actually use the old rope arrow and pull him because I still at this point have not completed that trophy. There is a spot where... You can totally do it, but I, I, I pulled them all and I didn't get the credit, so I don't know if I didn't pull him off far enough or if I, did, if I didn't pull him off hard enough. That's That, that doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> Whoopsie! All right, so we'll just move along, and now that uh, all of them are dead, we'll just consider that a, a past topic. Make sure you loot all their bodies, and when you do, well, I guess it's not a body you find it in, but you actually find another bow park there. So make sure you loot everything around and make sure you loot inside, too, because guess what? You find a rifle part, too. And right there on the desk, you will find the first relic, which is, uh, you know, not too hard to find. It's kind of right there out in the open, but it's real easy to miss considering this little hut here is almost on the backside of where you're supposed to be going. So... Supposed to be going up that hill. Make sure when you do get to this relic that you spin it around. Spin to win, sucka, spin to win. You can see off to the side it actually tells you that there's probably some more information there. And then it tells you what it is once you find it. So okay. that's nice. Now we're going to go ahead and progress and start moving up a little bit more. The uh, next item of interest is going to be a statue. I tried to use the uh, rope arrow there, and for whatever reason, it didn't work. That'd be awesome if you could, like, scorpion the rabbits and be like, get over here. That'd be sweet. Dinner is served on a rope and an arrow. All right. Moving up the stairs, just a little bit up the ways from that little house, the house of dreams. We're going to light a statue, and then we're going to hop onto this little uh, broken down carriage and ride down the zip line. Now, I apologize. I kind of can't find this at first I'm totally lost I have no idea where I'm going but uh, really I'm standing right on it and for whatever reason I couldn't see it so I run around knowing that there's a GPS cache here but I couldn't find it for the life of me and then in the end I go and I look on the map and I'm actually standing right on top of it I literally did not see it right now and then boom I saw it I was like oh there it is sweet I'll take it it's ours all right, so we got nine of those suckers for the area. It happens to be only the first one for this video, but we will get them all soon enough, I promise. Now we're going to go ahead and use the rope arrow. Shimmy shammy our way up here, taking a nice little quick view. Man, that would suck. My, I would not be able to handle this. I would need uh, multiple diapers because I would be shitting my pants. I'd be sponsored by Depends by the end of this journey, that's for damn sure. And if I wasn't, I would invest a lot of stock into them so I wouldn't have to pay as much. But that's just me. Make it all the way to the top, and you will see that there is two unsuspecting baddies. And uh, one's taking a leak, and I did not get that off fast enough. So I had to actually deal with him. He spotted me. Go ahead and loot both of those bodies. But then at this point, we're going to realize, whoopsie, we forgot something. So we're going to backtrack back down. We're going to head down the zip line and go all the way back because we, in fact, missed uh, uh, an important item. So you're going to want to jump right up above and double back to light the statue. We almost made you miss that. How bad will that have been? That's not the happy thumbs away, though. So although we could have done this a little bit sooner, uh, we'll come back and get it and make sure we get it. I do uh, make a fool of myself a couple times over this video and the next as far as these 
burning cauldron floating i don't even know what the hell though are those are and i've literally had problems with those so i struggle on those i'm sure one of you guys will give me some info on in the comments below i've tried to knock them around i've tried to use the rope arrow to push them around there's a couple coming up too in future levels that just didn't work out for me and i spent some time making myself look like a fool and succeed so yay we all get to experience that pretty soon now after taking out the two guys up top being back on track, the two unsuspecting baddies, we're going to go ahead and take a left into a little cave that is really easy to miss. So make sure that you definitely look to your left and get in there as quick as possible. So right now we're actually exploring. We, uh, we'll go ahead and make a note right now that this is not something that you need to do. This is just kind of a detour. Uh, we thought we were going to find some cool stuff out here. Now, if you haven't been following along in the video and all that, you might have you know some stuff to collect down below. But... We uh, turn this waterfall into a trampoline, we, and then we realize, okay, that statue's already lit, uh, okay, we've already been here, so the detour's over, we're actually going to head back up top and go to that same cave we just came out of, and then we're going to go back up the hill and head towards the tomb, which happens to be on the left, so I come up to the statue and press my jubs up against it one more time before rolling out for good luck, and then we'll head up the stairs and take a left, like promised, into this area called the Ascension, the Hall of Ascension. Which some of you might find a little ironic because of the newly, uh, well, soon to be released, or probably by the time you've watched this, already released, God of War Ascension. I'm sure there's some sort of connection between the meanings of the game and the tomb here. Not getting it at this point. I'm sure you guys will be awesome and tell me down in the comments because we got cool fans like that. Oh, Billy. So we're going to go ahead and make our way through this uh, hallway here and make sure you collect everything along the way because you can see we just found some rifle parts and we're making our way all the way to the very back of this sketchy ass cave, which then we will see that there is a tremendous storm on the other side. It's weird how storms will be on one side of a rock but not on the other. So interesting. And I mean, it's not like a little storm. It is whipping. It is pounding out there. So... All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a little snooze here at the camp. And we are actually going to power up our bow and do some other awesome stuff. So you should you should do the same. But as soon as you get done with the day camp, go ahead and head on across the bridge. She will definitely try to uh, block the windy sand. And uh, hopefully we don't get any sand in our vag because we don't want any upset people by the end of this mission. We uh, climb up here because we want to give you a little an idea of what's going on here. If you haven't figured it out already, you got to use your axe to go ahead and shut the shutters. Then you got to run over to this other lever mechanism. Use your axe yet again to lift up the device. And then jump up on the platform to jump over to that. And here in about four seconds, the wind's going to kick open that shutter and send us flying up. And use your little shimmy shamble to climb up the wall and make your way all the way across, hanging on, hanging fish style. If you guys don't know about hanging fish, it's uh, kind of an old SOCOM 1 and 2 thing that uh, a fair amount of us used to do. We used to just hang on the boxes in Frostfire, and people would come in and look at us. and They'd literally run trying to find us and kill us in clan matches, and they wouldn't find us. And then they'd look over, and they'd see us all hanging in a row on the boxes. We called it hanging fish. It's kind of like a play uh, distraction. You know what I mean? We'd have, like, usually if it was demolition, we'd have one or two guys making a run for the bomb while everyone else was hanging fish. And then they'd think everyone was hanging fish, so they'd start circling around all the boxes. And All right, enough old school SOCOM talk. Tomb raided, and what's up, Guitar Lords? And so, yeah, so we definitely uh, do well with this reward because it will show us where all the GPS locations are. Good news for you, we're going to do that for you anyway. So you got the best of both worlds now, and you can choose, do I want the game to show me or do I want this annoying dude named Brian to show me? Either way, you get to choose, so... Yeah, buddy. So we're going to hightail it out of here. We did speed it up just a wee bit just so we wouldn't have to wait so long because, as you noticed running through here, sometimes there are uh, spots where you run a little faster and sometimes a little slower. So we'll speed it up and make it all faster. Booyah, kashow. All right. So now that once we get out of here, the Hall Ascension is complete, and we are going to progress down, and we're going to look for the next relic. And again, uh, we're about 10 seconds out from that. At this point, you probably might as well just wait. But the quick links down below are always available for you just to travel from location to location to location. And uh, each time we show you the map and each time we talk about it, so you should be good. All right, so did you see what just happened there? 
I pulled back and I dropped off that cliff. Like it does not seem like something you'd want to do at all, but you need to. And I'll show you why, because right over there is a collectible and right over there is a collectible and right there. Booyah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and swoop this relic up. A little confusing. Rewind it a little bit if you need to. Again, use the quick links to get back to relic number two. You can see it's a nice little photo, some old hottie from back in the day. Looks like it's been used to the fullest by all the guys who have had the picture before us, if you know what I'm saying. feel sorry for that uh, morale of that picture. And we're going to use a little tree bridge to climb across. And before using that rock wall to scale up, make sure you make your way around the corner and pick up them eggs. Nothing like some bacon and eggs on the side of a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Now we just need some bacon. All right, so we can see that there is definitely a spot to use the rope arrows, but there's nothing to attach it to, and we can't pull ourselves across, so we're going to go ahead and use the rock wall now, scale it all the way to the top, and booyah, guess what? Another statue. We will take it. We got no complaints on that. So we're making, uh, we're past the halfway point on the overall statues. We've uh, almost got to the end of the statues for this video. And here you go. We can see that we can definitely use our rope arrow from up top and attach it to this nice steady pull here. Not all pulls are steady. I can guarantee that. Once you drop down into this little shack here, you will notice that there is a document sitting there. So we'll go ahead and quickly take a peek at that and go ahead and move on. Move along, people. Move along. All right. So here we go. Another steady rope arrow shot. But guess what? That's the wrong one. You got to go up high first. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and switch that off and go climb out onto this little wee island over here. And we'll find a couple things out here. This is real easy to miss, so make sure that you're following on where to go. Because not only was it hard for, to find, it was, uh, like I said, it, it's real easy to miss. The story wants you to progress in another direction. And it makes it obviously blatant that it's the other way. But this way, uh, you know. See, and I even thought, okay, I got the GPS cache. Now, nope, wrong. You got to drop down another level down here. It looks even more sketch. But you'll be rewarded with some salvage. And I promise, a good deed at the top. Yeah, yeah, another statue. So as promised, five statues now complete. We're only three away from having that totally done. And we'll move around the corner and use our rope arrow to sustain another way to travel from one island to another. And this is actually the backdoor route. Uh, as you notice, we could actually drop down and come that way from above, but we didn't come that way. We came the back door. And make sure that you backdoor this island too because there's another set of eggs out there. So that'll complete the eggs for this video as well. And we'll go ahead and climb up the front here using our shimmy shamble. And right up on top in the middle there, you guessed it, document number two. And believe it or not, that's actually going to complete the collectibles for this area. So uh, we do have some more videos coming, and we will be knocking out some of these challenges as well as completing this area real soon, I promise. And uh, we'll go ahead and cut it there. So that'll wrap up Level 8, Guilty Conscience, where we found all the collectibles and had fun doing it. And, you know, we even got a tomb, and we're kicking, we're kicking some ass, safe to say. All right, feel free to uh, comment, vote, subscribe. Head on over to Facebook and Twitter and, you know, ask us questions, communicate with us and other Happy Thumbs viewers. And, you know, you know the drill. We keeping it real. We keeping it live. We're keeping more coming soon. So until next time. I guess we're not keeping it live, but we are keeping it real. So yeah.